This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, we are so pleased to welcome Chef Jody Adams from Porto. We're making a delicious recipe. What's on the menu today? It's a campanelli. It's great to be here, by the way, in Rhode Island, where I'm from. I grew up here. Um, it's a campanelli pasta, which means a, a horn with slow-cooked tomatoes, basil, and something called batarga, which is a cured mullet roe. It brings a really interesting mm. depth of flavor. It's sort of like using a fish sauce, like an Asian fish sauce in something. You hardly know it's there, but it brings a great depth of flavor. And people who think they're scared of it, but they actually love it. Well, I'm interested to try it. So can you take us through the rest of the ingredients that we need? Of course. So I, in, here, in this pot, I have cooking mm -hmm. onions and garlic in olive oil. You want to cook it nice and slowly. We've been smelling that. It smells so good. <laughs> I know. It's just That's all you need. Everybody said, that's all you need. That's Very you aromatic. Need. Yeah. Yum. Mm -hmm. um, tomatoes. These are little grape tomatoes cut in half. I'm going to put them in the pot, cook them slowly with some hot red pepper flakes and a little pinch of sugar. Mm -hmm. This is a great recipe to do in the winter because you can use fresh tomatoes because these are always good, but you might have to add just a tiny bit of sugar to bring some sweetness to them. Okay. And then um, that cooks slowly, and at the last minute we throw in some basil and a little bit of butter if you want it, mm. a little bit of cheese. The pasta cooks, and this cooks quickly because it's fresh. Yes, that's what I like about fresh pasta. Really quick. Quick, and then it goes straight from the pot into the sauce, toss it around, mm -hmm. top it with breadcrumbs, Ooh. parsley, and celery leaves, which I love, and then oh. grated batarga and pecorino cheese. Oh, it sounds delicious. I hope you're hungry because we have such a, a great meal for you. And we're going to talk more about Jody and her restaurant and what they have going on in the upcoming month. Back to you. We're back in the Roadshow Kitchen, Chef Jody Adams is here. Porto is the is the restaurant, and we've been saying all morning long, it smells so good. I know. It smells so I good. Know. I mean, I think you could just put garlic and yes, uh, it's the simplest onions of ingredients, on a stove. right? Delicious. All right, so what do you what are we gonna get? Get so going? We have um, onions and garlic. They've cooked for a long time mm -hmm. in olive oil. We're gonna add tomatoes. These yeah, are beautiful. Um, grape tomatoes, and a little oh. tiny bit of sugar to help if the uh, tomatoes aren't too sweet, and particularly, bef you know, winter tomatoes tend not to be quite not as sweet. A, right. So I think of it as a little seasoning. Some hot pepper flakes. Sounds good to me. Some basil. Mm -hmm. Put that and in. a wee bit of salt. And then I like to just cover that and let it stew for a while. If you would salt that water, right, that would be a here. huge help. Just put a little dab in here. Now, yeah. you are, you're from Providence, but your restaurant itself is in the Back Bay of Boston, yeah. right? Porto is next to Saks Fifth Avenue mm -hmm. on Ring Road. Nobody knows where Ring Road is. It's between Boylston and Huntington. Okay. And um, in, in the Back Bay, right around the corner from um, Lord & Taylor. Can you envision it? Yeah, no, okay. I, I know what you mean. Okay. Yeah. No. It's a new restaurant. It's up on a, a little bit up on a hill. Huge patio, outdoor bar, the best place for Marathon Monday. We're going to have a party all day starting at 8 30 with mm. breakfast sandwiches we like parties yeah <laughs> we like parties and um so so growing up in providence or, or being born here in providence was it kind of like easy for you to become a chef that you are or or liking the italian food that you create every day yes it was kind of almost destiny for you i uh, i think it was destiny was i mean it? the first time i found myself in a professional kitchen it was like ah, I'm you're home. home i'm home yeah i'm home my mother was a great cook but and she worked mm -hmm. full time and at Providence Public Library, and no. then at the Whaling Museum. Right. And um, so, but she c cooked from scratch, and so that was part of our life. Right. And then, on weekends or days off or early years, she would shop at Federal Hill. So I was introduced to Federal Hill early. The pasta store doesn't get any better than that. But what's the name of the pasta store? Oh, um, God, you're putting me on the spot. I uh, that we have this Roma up there. Yeah. There's a bunch. Um, oh my God, Venda, Venda. Yes. Venda. Yes. And. Um, and the, uh, the chicken place yes. and the vegetable place and the place where you got a, a bread. It was called rosemary cake. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it was called rosemary cake, yeah. but anyway, it was delicious. It had dried fruit in it. So, and that's where you really got going. And also, I, I cleaned up um, the dishes at uh, Nancy Verdi Bar's cooking school Sounds here good to in me. Boston. All right, so this is I mean, going. We are going to put the, the rest of this together and also talk about the, the restaurant located in the Back Bay in Boston. Also, hear more about how she all got all this started. Back to you.
We are back in the road show. Kitchen Chef Jody Jody Adams is here. Porto is the is the restaurant. We're ready to put pasta in. Dump it in. Dump it in. You okay. already salted the water. Yep. This is fresh. We uh -huh. just made it, and so um, it take no time. Okay. And Kayla, you can just stir in like a little hot. butter. All all of what you've measured out here. Uh, I'd put in half. Okay. Put a little bit at a time. And we were saying that looks like magazine stuff. That is and it picture smells perfect. Beautiful. Isn't it? And it's so simple. Oh, and wow. you can make that um, and have it in the fridge for two weeks. Mm -hmm. oh, you know, it'll, it'll last. Yeah. It's and just, as it sits, it just gets better. It gets better. It gets kind better, of marinate right? all yeah. together. Yeah. I like this too because a lot of people, maybe even in their home gardens, they'll grow some herbs or tomatoes, yeah. maybe both, so you can use your fresh ingredients when the weather gets nicer. And I'm going to put the top on just to speed this Yeah, because this, has, this isn't going to take very long because it is the fresh pasta. It's fresh pasta, yeah. but I do want to speed it up. And um, it's nice to keep the integrity of the tomato. That's why you cook it very slowly. And we have this dish on the menu at Porto mm -hmm. right now. It's which a, is in Boston. Which is in Boston. Great. Um, in Back Bay. Back Bay. Mm -hmm. Next to Saks. It's uh, Mediterranean and with a focus on seafood. Got um, it. We're in New England. Yeah. So you need that too. Take advantage. Yeah. You have had a you've had a great career. You grew up here in Providence. You obviously you own the restaurant in Boston now, but you've won a bunch of awards. You've been on different TV shows before. I was like, top chef, master. Top chef, yeah. yeah. Did you ever think yeah. you know, kid from Providence no. would get go on to this great no. career? No, and I, you know, I'm well. I won't tell you how old I am, but <laughs> um, it was a long time ago that I entered the business, and you just didn't see a lot of people particularly women who mm -hmm. were leading kitchens. Kitchens didn't have the spotlight on them the way you they, do now. They right. do now. Right. And so it was a bit of a stretch. My parents had no idea. They were academics. Um, nobody in my family had ever worked in a restaurant. And yeah. So they, mm -hmm. but it was, as I said earlier today, it was a home for me. When I was in a kitchen, I knew I was at home. So you got to listen to your gut sometimes. Yeah. There's something about that feeling that you know you're just in the right place at the right time. And, and you've clearly had so much success, like we'll mention with all those awards and your success on Top Chef and everything. But now with your restaurant. Oh, man. That and being good. in a place like Boston, especially this month, I'm sure it's going to be very busy yes. for you. Well, the marathon is going to come right by our door, so we're going to have a big old party all day. We don't open for breakfast, but we're You're going, going for to. for that day. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Monday. yeah. Marathon Monday gets so gets so exciting. So that really did. That just took a couple of, you know, that, maybe a yeah. minute or so. So, yeah, give it a stir. Oh, yeah. We want and to get all that flavor I, in there. This is what I learned from the Italians, the mm -hmm. Providence Italians. You don't dump the pasta water out and rinse it with cold water. No, you need that. You you need the starch and you put the pasta straight into the um, I'm going to just move this away so you can get a look. You want me to sure. I, can, I can take it for you. Should I put it right there? Yeah. Um, should we turn the burner off so we don't burn ourselves? <laughs> um, if you want, sure. But you want to cook as we were just then. Cook the um, pasta in the sauce a right. little bit so that um, the pasta absorbs it. And there we go. And it is. That. That Especially uh, the choice of pasta like this that'll hold on to a lot of those great flavors. Yeah. And I like that we didn't mush up the, the tomatoes, that the tomatoes are still kept mm -hmm. whole. It adds a, an extra layer of great flavor to it. Okay, are you hungry? Oh, you guys have been sure. here We're since starving. the beginning. <laughs> twice. I'm ready to rock. Ours. And if it gets a little, like, see how it looks a little dry? Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to take a little pasta water out. Put There's a to your advantage. Yeah. And then you have a lot of fun things that you're going to top this with. Yes. Including a giant block of cheese. A blind, <laughs> a bl a blind jack of cheese. A giant block of cheese. And um, batarga. So this is uh, cured mullet roe. It, okay. You find it all over the Mediterranean. Sicily, Sardinia, Puglia, France, Portugal, everywhere. Um, it has high intensity of umami. You know that yes. thick taste, yes. that very mm. savory taste. Would you like just to microplane some of that? Yeah. Okay. Watch, that's hot. Um, and it gives a Whoa. depth of flavor, um, and it's not super fishy. It's, and it's a beautiful color. And then some breadcrumbs, which you've toasted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yum. Some pecorino cheese. Okay. And then herbs. Oh, <laughs> that looks so good. Beautiful. And some people would say, I thought the Italians didn't serve cheese with fish. Right. The batarga is. Um, not as fishy as, you know, it's not like shrimp or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's there. Put a well, it looks Mama delicious. Mia. We're so excited. And good luck on Marathon Monday. I'm sure you're going to get a lot of people in there. We're going to give this a try. And if you want to try this recipe for yourself, you know where to go. Roadshow.com. Give it a try. Mm -hmm.